let's see here where we can use uh, past perfect continuous tense we use the past perfect continuous tense to refer to an action which had been going continuously up to that time in the past that we are talking about the hap action is happening in the past but it is the continuous action and this action is continuously going on in the past see the example he had been living in kolkata for a long time before he came to delhi see first um, observe second sentence after before before he came to delhi this sentence also is in past tense right so now he um, uh, he was in delhi and before delhi he was leaving to Kal kolkata so he had been living he used to live in kolkata he used to live in kolkata in the past right so there we use past perfect continuous tense he had been living in kolkata for a long, long time before he came to delhi now let's see structure for affirmative sentence using past continuous tense and it is subject plus had been plus v1 ing plus object now see in past continuous tense after subject we are using had plus been and after had been we are not using v3 we are not using third form of uh, verb here we are joining ing to the v1 right as you know in continuous tense we have to join ing to the main verb so here also we are joining only which helping verb we are using here had been between subject and main verb getting see the examples i had been writing a letter i is subject then we are adding had been and then writing is main verb we are joining ing to write that is writing a letter i had been writing a letter getting see the next example he or she had been going to library when father returned home from his office right so uh, we will see some more examples for your better understanding i had been watching television when mom walked into the kitchen Martha had been playing piano for 35 years. He, uh, see students here, in this examples, I am giving time reference also. That for 35 years, uh, when mom walked into the kitchen. So here, um, we will come to know that action is happening in the past. And we are, I am giving some uh, time references also. Here, by using since or for. See the next example, you will come to know. He had been throwing rocks at her window for 5 minutes. How many times he was throwing window? Uh, sorry. How many minutes he was throwing rocks through the window? For 5 minutes. Right? He had been working together since 2017. So, here I am... Uh, using uh, since why to show the time reference she had been waiting for you since monday right so she had been waiting for you since monday i had been studying for exam for three months getting i would like to translate the above examples in hindi for your better understanding See, I had been watching television when mom walked into the kitchen. Main television dekh raha tha jab meri maa kitchen mein ja rahi thi aur kitchen mein ja rahi thi. Right. Martha had been playing piano for 35 years. Martha piano play kar rahi thi, piano baja rahi thi. Kab tak? पिछले 35 years से वो बजा रही थी. Getting? He had been throwing rocks at her window for 5 minutes. वो खिड़की से पत्थर फेक रहा था for 5 minutes. Continuously he was doing the action of throwing rocks through the window for 5 minutes. 
अंडरस्टैंडिंग द एक्शन इज हैपनिंग इन द पास्ट बट इट हैड बीन गोइंग ऑन कंटिन्यूसली वी हैड बीन वर्किंग टूगेदर सिंस ट्वेंटी सेवेंटीन तो हम साथ में काम कर रहे थे कब से टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन से शी हैड बीन वेटिंग फॉर यू सिंस मंडे वो तुम्हारा तुम्हारी राह देख रही थी मंडे से लास्ट मंडे से I had been studying for exam for थ्री months. मैं थ्री months से study कर रहा था समझ रहा है I hope you understood where we can use past continuous tense. Now let's move to negative sentences. Let's see its structure. Subject plus had not or hadn't plus been plus v1 ing plus object. Only we have to add not between had and been getting it is same like affirmative sentence only we have to add not but where to add not between had and been getting see the examples i have given here translation i have given here how we can transfer affirmative sentence into negative sentence see first example they had been studying for exam for 3 months so its negative form is they had not been studying for exam for 3 months we don't have to place not before had or don't place not after the after been also just place it between had and been had not or hadn't not its short form uh is hadn't so they had not or they hadn't been studying for exam for 3 months next example is they had been eating vegetables for 3 years and its negative form is they had not been eating vegetables for 3 years next one is kids had been drinking milk for 5 months tell me right kids had not been drinking milk for 5 months let's see some more negative sentences she had not been cleaning her home since 2015 they hadn't been doing their work since march you had not been reading this book for 10 months my grandmother hadn't watching television for 3 months so i hope you understood here negative form of um, sentences how to make negative sentences using past continuous tense let's move to the questions structure for interrogative sentence is had plus subject plus been plus v1 ing plus object and then at the end of the sentence you have to give question mark because it is question so only the thing you have to note is had will come first then subject and then been plus v1 ing plus object see the examples He had been using his car since two thousand fifteen. So we are bringing had first, and then subject, then been. See, had he been using his car since two thousand fifteen? And at last, give question mark. Right? See the next example. She had been practicing yoga for ten years. Has she been practicing yoga for ten years? Getting students. See next example. They had been running their business since nineteen eighty. Had they been running their business since nineteen eighty? So I am just bringing had at the first and then subject, then been plus v one i g. Getting? We will see some more examples of interrogative sentences. Had children been playing in the rain since morning? Had Sachin Tendulkar been playing cricket since nineteen eighty eight? Had Ria been listening music for ten days? Had Aunt been taking medicines for five years? Had they been living in UK since two thousand ten? Here I am just applying the formula and converting the sentences in interrogative sentence. I hope you understood how to make interrogative sentence in past perfect continuous tense.